Hey guys, it's Sherry with Blessed Baubles, and I'm ready for a fun video. I hope you are too. I have Buster Boy here. I have Miss Prissy ready to go. I have Bolty in the background and loops and magnets. Let me see, where's my magnet? Magnets and flashlights and testing solution. So we should have a good time. Thanks so much for coming. Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Baubles and we're starting a new series called Rich Box, Poor Box where I take an expensive box of shopgoodwill.com jewelry and we compare it against a very inexpensive box. What I did was I ordered these boxes months and months ago and then we had the 45 pounds Shop Goodwill lot to go through before I could start this one. So it's taken a little bit to get here, but we are finally here. And yeah, that's all that means about Rich Box Poor Box is that one was expensive and one was inexpensive. So I'll open this box and then I'll explain a little bit more about what we're doing. Well, if you are new to my channel, I open my boxes pretty much always on camera with all of you. So you get to see everything just as I'm seeing it. I think it helps for people to feel like they're right here and to experience everything just fresh out of the box. So let's see what this box looks like. Now I will say it's busting at the seams. I don't know how heavy it is. I would say it's at least 18 pounds. It's in a small box, but it's heavy. I'm not allowed to say where the box has come from. Um, Shop Goodwill has asked that we don't do that. I don't know why, but that's what they ask. And I also don't know how I'm going to do the comparison, but we'll open both boxes today and I'll take some out of each and we'll just start that way. If you have any ideas on how I could do this, let me know too. Let's take our first peek at Rich Box. Oh my goodness. Oh my, we're going to find out if it's worth paying a little bit extra, not a little bit, a lot of extra for some of these boxes that we see on Shop Goodwill that go for astronomical amounts of money. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. Maybe take a few pieces out and then we'll look at them. I'm certainly going to have to get this box off the table. But let me do this. Let me open the other box as well, and then we'll figure it out. Okay, be right back. Now, here I am back with Poor Box. Poor Box is much taller, but it weighs about the same. I don't think it's as full. Um, I'm going to have to look up how much this one was, but I would say this one was about, oh, maybe... 35 or 45 I can't remember exactly because it's been a little while but I can always go on my account and take a look so this box is taller but it weighs about the same so I thought they would be good comparisons okay let's take a peek on this I must say I can't believe that last box nothing was in a bag it's just all in the box that that is so shocking to me okay i gotta get my paper out there, so just... there we go i'm not allowed to say oh we're gonna get past the lights now this one at least has bubble wrap so hey from four box we got ourselves some bubble wrap <laughs> and we have in a big bag take a peek at this box. There's some pretty colors in here. I hope it's going to focus okay. So I don't know how I'm going to do this because I certainly can't have two giant boxes on my table and be pulling out of each of them. It's just cute. It has verdigris on it. I'm sure we can find some nice pieces in here. There's always good things. Oops, I just broke in my hand. And it also depends on how much we know about jewelry. If we don't know much about what we're looking at, we might not realize its value, too. So, 
You never know. This might be something I saw in the picture that made me purchase this box. Because when I bought the box, I didn't buy it to do the series. I just bought two boxes. And then I decided, hey, maybe I should pick a couple of these that I bought and make a new series. I had about five boxes to choose from, and these are the two that I chose. So let's, um, I think I'll get a few pieces out of Rich Box first, and then we will do that again with Poor Box. Okay. Okay, we're back with Rich Box, and I hope I'm not covering the microphone with my fingers because I'm just holding my phone. What I don't want to do is put a bunch of jewelry on the table without you seeing it come out of the box. I just like it when you see everything just come right out as it really is. This is so huge. I can't even begin to imagine what this is. Oh my gosh. It's all cobalt glass. Okay, take this out. been a part of my channel for a while you know that I take pieces out one at a time and we explore them that way I don't like to have a lot on my table because the camera can go out of focus but this time we're gonna have to do it this way so I'll probably just push things you know, to the back of the table a little bit but let's get see we got that pile Oh my gosh, some beautiful gemstones. What else? Um, oh, that's weird. Cool and wacky. Get a good pile. I think that's good. Okay, so remember what's there because we'll go back to that again. Okay. And this is our pile. Okay, and here we go. And now that I'm sitting down, I can explain a little bit about what we're doing. Again, I bought several boxes of jewelry months ago. Um, after the 45 pound box, I think. The 45 pound took so long that these boxes sat. And in the meantime, I was trying to get an idea of what my next series would be. So I thought, why not do a comparison between these boxes that cost a lot and the boxes that don't? Because some, let's see, how do I say this? Some YouTubers think that the inexpensive boxes are the way to go because you'll find, maybe you'll find gold or silver, or it's just not worth paying all the money for the more expensive boxes. And some people swear by the more expensive boxes because you definitely get your money back. And I don't know either way what's better to pay a lot of money or not pay a lot of money. So this is my way too of knowing how it's gonna go in this series. Now, the, of course, this doesn't say much about every single box of jewelry because I would have to do this, you know, hundreds of times to really know what the outcome would be. But maybe you are a YouTuber. Maybe you've bought some shopgoodwill.com boxes Maybe you've paid up for some, and maybe there have been some that have been really inexpensive. So let us know in the comments what your experience has been, because I know there have been a lot of questions about these really pricey boxes and are they worth it. So I, div I invested a lot of money, I'll have to confess. Um, well, well, I'd say more than, more than let's see, more than 400 not, but not quite 500. So it's an investment, a big one, and I don't take it lightly. Um, and I hope I can get my money back. I really think I will, I always do. So let's see what we've got. Okay, this looks like a Stella and Dot piece to me. It's in great shape. Looks like everything is there. There is a tag. And let's see, I need my loopy. Oh, my lighting is kind of funny. It's early in the morning. And, oh, I think you can see that really well. Okay, super. 
Actually, this is a J. Crew. Okay, nice. So that was my mistake there, but that's a beautiful J. Crew necklace. I don't know what to do about prices yet because I'm just so like, oh my gosh, with this whole series and trying to figure it all out. But this is a long necklace. Um, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 34 inches long, J. Crew. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and say 30 on this. And we'll see how that goes. Okay, because a lot of this stuff, I don't know if I'm going to know what it is. Oh, and look, and then I see a, a name on it. Nice. Now, this feels like stone. It's really heavy. Feels really quality. I don't know what that number is, but it says Ann Taylor. Oh, it does have a little bit of undoing right here, but that could be just from being in that box jammed in with everything else. That might be an easy fix with a little dab of glue. But this one's coming out a little bit too. Hmm. Let's put Miss Percy on and see if this is any kind of gemstone. Because it doesn't feel like glass. It does feel like gemstone. But I don't know. It does have this lovely hang tag and this crystal. So it looks like a nice and tailor, like a super nice one. So we'll see what that is. Now this, I have no idea. Polymer clay, I guess. Someone did a terrific job. Some kind of flower. Let me know if you know what this is. It does seem very purposely made. I mean, this chain part is nice. It's very shiny and in great condition. So I don't know, were these always homemade? Or did someone, some company make them? Don't know about that, I'll need your help with that. And I have my little tray next to me too. This is just stunning. It's all gemstone, it's ice cold. This is blue lace agate right here, or some kind of lace agate, because it's not all blue. Wow. I'm sure that must be amethyst and some types of carnelian, some jasper, and some more lace agate pieces. Ooh, look how beautiful this one is. This is gorgeous. It is on a shepherd's hook. Just needs a little gentle um, getting it where it needs to be. Let me get that fixed, because I want to make sure it is fixable. Come on, buddy. Just need you to turn. Oh, I guess I'll have to fiddle with it off camera. These things take quite a ride in those boxes. I really am amazed that they didn't box these individually. Okay, I'll see if that has any marks. All right, let's see what the Ann Taylor does. It's not going to stone. So I guess they did a great job on glass beads that look like stone. So this is beautiful. It's all hand knotted. It's never been worn obviously with that tag on it. It's a deep um, navy blue, a little bit on the brighter side of that navy. And I guess I'm gonna say if you want to put a little dot of glue there and there to keep those pieces in line, it's a beautiful necklace. It is 30 inches long. It's quite heavy. Just want to fix it up. I'll say 20 on that one. And I'll put it away carefully. Wow, this J. Crew necklace from over on the table is sparkling away. Oops, sorry, Miss Prissy. Okay, now this one, we know it's all gemstone, but let me bring her up here so I can show you what types of gemstone, and that might be fun. Okay, the green one. It's almost going to jade. 
Let's see how she's doing in calibration. Yeah, it's a little bit low. So let's wait till it goes up there. Okay, that's better. I was making some videos and um, I kind of picked up the machine and let her be in the camera. So maybe it just needs a little calibrating. Come on, honey. Okay, that looks better. All right, now back to the green one. It's going right where it was. So not quite into jade. This blue one looks like maybe sodalite. And then we've got these lace agate pieces. Not sure where they're supposed to land, but they're in the stone. Carnelian should be in the garnet range. And let's see, we have a yellow one. I would think some type of citrine. But I don't know all the stones. It's very beautiful. Love it, love it. Okay, now let me see if I can see anything on the class. The birds are really chirping this morning. I'm usually videoing at night. Oh, it does have a mark on the clasp. Is 925. So this is a definitely a nice piece. Got sterling silver, gold over sterling on the shepherd's hook. So definitely a nice necklace. Very well made and well thought. It measures 18 inches. I'm just going to go fix that clasp, just so you know. I think I was just being a little too shy with the clasp. It just needed a little pull, and it's fine. But you have gold over sterling on both pieces of the clasp. They're both marked. You have a gorgeous stone necklace, 18 inches that can be lengthened. All gemstone. It is so pretty. Wow. I love those lace agate pieces and the amethyst, just all of it, very pretty. So if we're gonna do prices, I will say, um, let's do 45 on this one. Okay, what else do we have? Should we just look at this one? I mean, come on, it is ginormous. It looks like cobalt blue glass. I have no idea what this is. Wow. Okay. It's all hand knotted with gold thread. Look at the size of these pieces of glass. They are all hand blown. Can you see that? All each piece hand blown. This must be some kind of artist. Look at that. There it is. It does have a little bit of glue on the end, which isn't awesome, but oh my goodness gracious, what does one say about this? I'll have to Google search it, that's all I can say. It does look a little bit older. It's got some dust from time, but those are all hand-blown pieces of glass. What? Please let me know if you know anything about this. I'll try to lay it out so you can see the full thing. Well, you're not going to be able to, but it goes like that with the tassel. If we could get it on a white background, you could take some screenshots and maybe Google search it. I guess I'll have to do that on my own because I don't think we're going to get it all in the picture. try. But there it is. It's a biggie. Probably you'd have to weigh it or something. I think this is most of the weight of the box, honestly. Okay, can you imagine? Like, wow. That's a statement of all statements. And it measures 28 inches. 
Okay, I'm going to have to put this one aside and see what is happening. All I can think is it must be an artist, but do let me know. Oh, by the way, I forgot to even mention, if you see anything you like, I'm not sure how many prices I'll give today, but I'll try. Please email me at capecotebaygirl at gmail.com. And please, please, please give me these four pieces of information. I will need the video name and the episode number, the timestamps of when your pieces show. You can get those by pausing your video. The timestamp is on the left, and the full time of the video is on the right. So make sure you get the one on the left. A brief description of the pieces that you want and the prices that were given, okay? I do not need screenshots. They kind of just throw me off if you send screenshots. But if you need to send them for your own reference, just put a note screenshot for my own reference, okay? So please send me it this way. And um, you just need to put video name and episode number only once. Some people have been putting it like every time and it's you don't have to be like that. Just let me know the video name, episode number, and then the timestamp of each piece when that shows, okay? So thank you for that. I do answer my emails in the order they are received. So you can email me all through the video if you'd like. I don't uh, mind if you do that. You don't have to save up all of your items until to do just one email. You can email me throughout the video. And I ask that if you like the video, please give it a like. It does let YouTube know that you like this content and it helps out my channel. So thank you so much. I'm working very hard to give you great content that you will love. I don't know what's going on with YouTube, but my YouTube main page, you know, when I go on the home page, I guess, is really changing. I have to go look for the videos that I like because it seems to be suggesting all kinds of new things. So be careful of that and make sure you are clicking that bell to be notified when my videos come out. This is all gemstone and I can see already it's marked 925 on the clasp. It's a beautiful jasper necklace and let's just look at the color varieties on this. It's so pretty. They're so soft and they lay slightly flat. Wow. And it says 925 on the clasp. I thought I saw a little shadow of something like that. Let me have a peek. Um, I know I saw something. Yep, there it is. Okay, I will get it in focus, and then I'll bring it over to show you. I think my loop is a little foggy, but that says 925 on it. Let's get the fog off my loop. Maybe it's the colder temperature out here in this room. There we go. So we have a sterling silver. I think this is called Jasper. Beautiful discs of Jasper. It is a little over 18 inches long. Oh, it's lovely. And sterling silver again. Very pretty clasp. I'm trying to see if there's any kind of maker on there. Like, I don't know what, I don't think the J. King necklaces have this kind of clasp. But it's good to pay attention. Yeah, it just says 925 right there. So there you go. With that beautiful piece. And I'll say 25 on that. All stone and sterling. You know what, I'll say, well, let's do 18 on this, sorry. Because it's not a huge size, but it's lovely stone, and that's a great clasp. The clasp is probably worth that alone if you're a jewelry maker. Okay, this is pretty. We have a faux tortoise shell, and it's also marked, and it is by J. Crew. Oh, is that lovely? Look at that chain. Now, I think J. Crew has gold plated, and they may use 18 karat gold plating, I think. 
and this beautiful tortoise shell pendant with all this different movement that is lovely really pretty there is a teeny bit of like little tiny bit of wear right there it might even just polish right off because it could have rubbed up against something else let me see with my polishing cloth what it does it's hard because I need two hands to do it oh yeah it polished up nicely so it measures 26 inches with another two inch extender J. Crew tortoise shell beautiful necklace and I'll say 15 on that piece okay these look nice very very nice oh my look at that that's lovely and it's marked on the bottom let's see what this says S-A-L. Doesn't that mean Swarovski crystal? I think so. Right? S-A-L. Oh, I'll have to look after I'm done recording, but we have beautiful glass pearls. They are... Let's see. They're all hand-knotted. Some kind of like ink on them right here. So I'll have to wipe that off, but S-A-L, I really do think that's Swarovski, but I will check, and I'm sure you guys will know. So by the time the video airs, I'll know which one it is. But if so, that is a nice, substantial piece of crystal, and the pearls are beautiful. So double strand glass pearls. Maybe. I've heard that Swarovski has glass pearls, too. I mean, has pearls, too. And I'm sure they're glass. So maybe the whole thing? I'll have to look again. Like I said, I don't want to say the wrong thing. I'm trying to double it. And I always do better if I hold it in the air. So I think it could be choker length. If you wanted it to be, and then you could wear the clasp. Oh my goodness, is that beautiful. So let me take a minute to see what S-A-L is, just so I can be sure. Okay, so I took a look, and it definitely is a Swarovski vintage faux pearl necklace. So it's an older one, and it is their pearls as well. And I did get some of that ink off of whatever that was on the beads. So this is magnificent. It's 30 inches long. So you could double it if you wanted to. And look at that clasp. And it is signed. They go for quite a bit. Um, but I will price this one for 65. We'll do 65 and I hope you love it. It's beautiful. Swarovski and signed. Love, love, love. Okay, next we have, oh, I see something already, Givenchy. Okay, I'm liking this box. I really am. There's another something here. That has the Givenchy other logo. So what have we got? We have these red crystally, red and pink color crystals on like this gunmetal color chain. It is about 16 inches, and I will have to take a look because I don't know what that would go for at all. But it certainly is signed, and that does look like their signature. So I'll put that over there. I see one earring that we'll put on our Wait for Your Mate board, which is, where did I put it? <laughs> it needs some help. I went back to my old Wait for Your Mate board because it just is very effective with the styrofoam. So let's see. It's so much quicker to see if an earring is magnetic or not, and it is. So it's probably just very pretty silver plated. So let's go. Wait for your mate. Wait for your mate. You know you gotta wait for your mate. And I'll find our boards very soon and put it on there. 
because we got to get to our other box to do some comparing. Ooh, this looks like, I don't know. Is it a mood flower? It is. It's like a mood, mood flower. You know, I want to say mood ring, but see the colors changing? Oh, that's cool. It does seem to not change. Oh, wow. This side's really getting blue. This finger. Look how blue that is. So it does seem to not be changing right there, but the rest of it is. Man, oh man, is that working great. Let's see if I can cool it down and, and get it to change back. All right, who made this? There is no markings. No, I think this is supposed to slide down. Yeah. So that slides down. You have a mood flower necklace. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is magnetic. I'm not seeing any sterling. So it's pretty cool. I don't know what these stones are. Yeah, I think they're just decorative. So I think just a fun piece. It's not fully functioning, but it is functioning. If you could put it on a ring, that would be fun too, because then you'd have it right there. So I'm just going to say five on that, because it's not fully, you know, fully functioning. Okay, what is this? Is that the chain? This is the chain here. Look at this. That's beautiful. So shimmery and gorgeous. I really like that. It does need some cleaning. I'm not sure if the polishing will make it great or, or not, but it has all these gold discs on it. And the chain is like this dash chain or little segments of chain. That's different. That's pretty. Big lobster class and an extender. So pretty piece. I'll give it a clean up and see what it does. But it's really just kind of cool. I mean, look at that. Wow. I love the different color of the hammered pieces on the bottom or the way that they're catching the light differently because it's just making it look really cool. Look how they're all linked together. I don't think it needs cleaning. I wouldn't. I think that's meant to do that. Wow. Do I have the front? Or is this the front? Does it matter? I don't think it matters. That's beautiful. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so gold tone, hammered. It is 16 inches, and then you have another about an inch and a half extender. This is gorge. I'm going to say, um, let's do 20 on that. It is so pretty. Love it. Okay, what have we got here? Another little, it's another mood piece. Okay, now you can see that it's yellow, right? I'll put it against this finger. And we can watch it change. Isn't that fun? That's great. So whoever made the first one or sold the first one must have sold this one as well. This one's much more simple and it works fully. The cord that it's on is perfect. Does not look like it's ever been worn. It is 16 inches with about another two inch extender. So 16 to 18 fully functioning mood heart necklace. And I'll say 18 on that one. Wow, I didn't think I'd be able to price today, but it's fun. Wow, this is cool. Looks like a little tiny bottle of some sort. Like it might open. Yes, it does. Anybody home? Hello. So it's some kind of locket. It does magnetically close. It's very pretty. I think all the rhinestones are there. They're a peachy pink color and there's little tiny seed pearls on it as well. Here is the back and it has a little something on it. Let me see if I can get it off. OK, 
came right off, I think, unless it left a little residue. So I might have to work on that because I don't want to take time off the camera to clean that up. But yes, it's coming right off. I think it'll be fine. But look at this chain. That looks old. Really tiny brass pieces. A brass lobster clasp, which means it's not terribly old. But the materials they used made it look nice. Oh, it's marked. I'm going on and on and it has a name. And it says V-O-L-M. V like Victor, O-L like Larry, M like Mary. Don't know what that maker is, so I'll have to take a minute and look at that. But that's a cutie. Then we have a carved shell necklace on some very nice... Um, it feels like leather. So leather corded carved shell pendant necklace. This might be sterling on here. It does look like it is. It's not magnet. It's not sticking to the magnet. So I'll say five on that. It's very pretty. Now what is this? Torque style necklace. Absolutely stunning. Look at the rhinestones in there and this cable, heavy cable. Wow, I hope it's signed so I know what it is. Not seeing anything as of yet. This is, again, something I would not know how to price. But I will look it up. So if you love it, send me an email, and perhaps I've looked it up by the time you uh, email me. And if not, then I'll show it on the next video with the price. But yeah, I'll have to take time and look very closely for some marks, but it looks gold-plated for sure. And the crystals are beautiful. I'm hoping for a Swarovski mark somewhere. They really look Swar Swarovski crystal. Okay, so we have that piece that has to go in the research pile. And then the next one is this beautiful tassel necklace. Another J. Crew. I think so. It is. And look at that chain. It's like a squared Rolo chain. Like a huge box clasp. It's beautiful condition. It connects right here. And then, wow. Nice, nice, nice. Gorgeous J. Crew. A lot of collectors for J. Crew, especially certain pieces, but man, does that look really awesome. <laughs> wow. Okay, let me measure this one. I have no idea of the price of this either, but I'll just give you something. Let's see. It measures 28 inches to this first part right here. Is this move? No. And then the tassels are another 6 inches. Beautiful chain, awesome J. Crew. I'll say 22 on that one. Next we have, this is definitely all carved mother of pearl, I think. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's all hand knotted. It looks to be on an older brass chain. I think that's an old piece. Very old piece. Oh, there's a broken one right there. Bummer, I wonder if it happened in the box. I will know that when I get to the bottom of the box. So, oh, uh, that's sad. Let's see where it is. It's up here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. If someone loves it, let me know. Oh, look, there's another one right here on the same exact place. Isn't that strange? So it must have happened getting crushed in the box because these two maybe, I don't know, just guessing. So if you love it, I don't know. $3 for craft. Poor baby. 
this is quite the statement and quite large. Let's see, how does it go? Just like this, maybe? There's no maker on it. It has this color, then like a tortoise color, then it goes into the black and white. And then down here, I'm assuming this is how it goes. That would make sense. That's a seam right there. Hmm. I don't know. Again, I'll have to Google, sorry everyone. I'll have to Google search and see what comes up for this one. Because I do not know. Oh, there's some gold tone on this side. And gold tone here, so I must have had it at the wrong side. It's pretty. Needs a little looky into. Okay, what is this gorgeous thing? Okay, first of all, a clasp like this. Hidden clasp. Very dark gold color. Faux pearls glass pearls and some faceted glass with some gold pieces in between. Wow. It's very pretty. No maker on it. I don't know. It looks very um, fancy. Can we say that? Very fancy. So there's some round and then faceted, round and then faceted on the black beads and on the white beads or the faux pearls, they are all round. Let me just see about this chain. It is magnetic. The necklace measures about 17 inches. It's probably 16 to 18 with the extender. Well, actually it's not an extender because it clasps there. Wow, it's just a fancy, beautiful piece in great condition. And I'll say 18 on that. Beautiful. Then we have, what does that say? Someone's name? Maybe. And a crystal in the middle. It does have some markings on the back. Disney, okay. So maybe that says, oh, it says friends. Isn't that cute? So we have a Disney necklace with the cute bow. It says friends. It does have a little bit of a broken lobster clasp. It does still function as closing the necklace, but it is still broken. So Disney friends, I'll say $2 on that piece. I have a beautiful earring. It has green colored gemstones. Not sure about the, this does look sterling at the top, but it's gonna wait for its mate, wait for its mate. You know, you gotta wait for your mate. When we get the mate, then we'll see what you are. But I can't stand it, I wanna know if you're stone. Hmm. Not sure, it is going up to glass a little bit above, so it might be a, oh, those are crystal. So we have rock crystal all through here. Wow, that's cool. Okay, waiting for its mate. We have this really pretty puffy heart. Needs a little cleaning. Yep. So we'll see, maybe that came off as something. Don't know. Okay, that's for our rich box so far. Now let's pull out some pieces of the other. Hey, I thought I'd pop in in the middle of the video and remind you to subscribe it. Wait a minute, it's backwards, oh no. Well, anyway, subscribe and hit the bell and the like button if you like the video. Thanks, I gotta go figure this out. Okay, oh, there it is. Okay, bye. Okay, we're back with pour box. I pulled the bag right out of the box because the box is so big. I don't know if I can I might keep filming it that way. So 
Let's get some of these pieces out. We'll go over some of these. Hopefully they won't be too hard to get out. See some pretty stuff. Like I said, when I bought this box, I was not planning on any, I hadn't even thought of the series yet. So I bought the box because I like some of the things that were in the pictures. So I do expect some nice things. I like that. I always love my vintage stuff. Cutesy cutesies. Colors. See some gold coloring. I think I remember seeing this pearl thing. Oh my, there's a lot of necklaces in that. Oh, I don't want to tangle. Okay. Let's try something else. Yeah, maybe more from the top. Ooh, this looks like real shell. Kind of hooked a little bit there. So again, I just want you to see things as they come right out of the box. So bear with me a little bit so you can be part of the whole experience. Is that enough stuff? Try to grab things that are not going to be tangled. So you can just get them. That feels like real pearls. I think this is something I saw too. See what I mean? It's like... Oh good, we got that. I'm not trying to pull certain things out. Just going for what's on top, but other things come along. Okay, why do we have time? Oh, look at the kitty with the fish. Cutie cute. Alright, and that is a little bit stuck on what? Yeah. Can't pull that. Seems like lots of necklaces. And then these bracelets are kind of cut in between it all. Wow. Okay, that should do, right? I want to have some fun things to look at, but I can't seem to find where to end because then it sticks on to another. I think we did it. Okay, here it is. I'm going to go put it back in the box. Oh, we might as well keep this out because that is something we've already picked up. Okay. Oh gosh, I hope this bag holds up. I'm going to have to figure out a way to do this. Well, I'm sure that you will all send me some really good ideas on this. Okay, let's see what we got from Poor Box. Like maybe in the future I should have like a little sign for each box that we're looking at. You know, maybe I should say Poor Box. So that's the one that's up right now. Kind of put it in the corner. What do you think? Would that be cool? Maybe make them look kind of cute. Put some cute graphics on them or something. All right. <laughs> Someone new coming to my channel and says, okay, what is that in the picture? Okay, first we have a wooden bracelet. It's nice. It's not great. It's got some nicks in it. So I'm not sure what to say about that. This is a beautiful seed bead necklace. It is signed. Lovely crystal on the end. Oh, but it's signed like 
in another language. You see that? Different language. So maybe an Indian made necklace it has a little bit of color right here, probably from this brass button. But it's very beautiful. Once you get down here, the um, glass seed beads are a beautiful red color. You could wear it twisted or not, you know, torsade it like this. I don't want to twist it too much without undoing it, but so you could wear it as a torsade or wear it as, as it is. It's a beautiful color. It measures um, 22 inches and you'd have to clean that part off, which is a little bummer, but it should come out. And I'll say, let's do five on that. Lots of beads. If someone crafts, that's a ton of beads for five bucks. And you're not taking much of a chance with five dollars if you don't get that out. And you can wear it in the back. So we'll say that for that one. This is a plastic cuff and has nicks all through it. So I think I'm going to put that in a craft. And probably the wooden bracelet too. Now this is really, really lightweight. It's cute, but I could never see selling it. That would be a craft. Let's see. I was working on a craft jar named Emily the last time I was making a video. And I didn't get to go any further with it. I think we put this in it. So let's continue with Emily. And I'll put these beads in. And I wanted to show you all of these beads. A bracelet just broke into a bunch of pieces. And there's all these beautiful glass beads that came off of it. Lamp work beads. They're just gorgeous. I kept them all together, the little ones and the big ones. So I'm going to put that in Emily. And I might have shown you on the last video. Not sure. But we never got to finish that one, so... We'll start working on it again. This is a pretty red caged necklace. It's a little bit stuck on this one. Okay. So, red beads. Very pretty caged. But where's the clasp? Oh, here it is. So it's on an older spring ring. And I say older because of the whole composition of the necklace. And it says Korea. That's cool. So it is definitely a vintage necklace. Marked Korea. Beautiful. Probably thermoset. Or some type of resin. Or maybe they are glass. But they're very pretty red, a deep red. The necklace is 22 inches. I love Korea. Korea made things. They last a long time. I mean, look at the metal. It's in great condition after all these years. So there you go. It's pretty. I'll say five on that one. Okay, then we have a dark chain. Oops. And just a dark chain with a piece of yarn on it. So maybe someone had something tied to it. It's kind of cool. But I'm not sure what it goes with. So let's put it to the side. This is very pretty. Lobster clasp, darker metal. Has an extender. They are acrylic plasticky beads. But I like the look of it. Very pretty has like um like an amber color and then a copper color and then back to amber. And there's your chain. This one measures 22 inches. Just a real pretty vintage look. I'll say three dollars on that one. Now this 
is very cold. Definitely real pearls and a lot of them. Real peacock pearls. They're on the lighter side of the peacock color, but I don't mind. I think that's beautiful. Now, when I rub them together to see if they're pearls, I go very gently. You don't need much, and that's it. I know they are. They're very gritty. So let's take a look. They are very Baroque. They're not round. They are just all these natural pearls, natural sizes, natural markings in them. And a lovely color. Like I said, it's a lighter bluish purple. That's a lot of pearls. No clasp. So let's measure them. This is a nice thing to have in the wardrobe. You know I'm thinking of keeping it. <laughs> of course I am. So that's 40, 50, 62 inches, right? 40. Okay, let's try again. Okay, that's 20. That's 40. That's 62 inches. Yes, 62 inches of peacock pearls. Wow. We have to do it. We have to. We have to see what it would look like worn over the head. I'm sorry, worn, you know, wrapped around several times. And it is so beautiful. Oh my. I think I might have to catch and release this one. It's just, I love it. It's, it doesn't feel so fancy that I couldn't just wear it anytime I want. But the coloring is beautiful. And the things you could do with it. You could clip things on it. And, oh, it's just giving so many pretty colors. Wow. Okay, I'm in love. I don't know about you. And 62 inches of pearls. That's not bad for the four box. Not at all. I am going to say 65 on this. For 62 inches of pearls, that's like a dollar. You know, an inch or something. Let me know what you think. And if no one takes it, I'm going to keep it for a while. I love it. It's a beaut. Now, sometimes in these less expensive boxes, you might get a piece like this. And it might be some big designer that turns out to be really cool. So you never know. And I have got gold and certain things and, and uh, the less expensive boxes. So I don't know any more than you if rich box, poor box is better. That's why we're doing this. And we're doing it for fun, too, because we'll never be able to tell just with two boxes. Okay, this... Is all made of metal. The chains are painted as well. And I'm sure it's like a double strand. It's pretty. Very pretty. Purple and turquoise. Who doesn't love that? Just trying to find the end where it would. Oh, I think it got caught on this. That's the problem. I think I take something off that I wasn't supposed to. I'll be mad at myself. Yeah, I think it's stuck on this. Let me try to get that off quickly. Come on, babe. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to just pop right off there. I might need a tool. All right, let's try again. This is one end of the chain. This is the other. And this is stuck here. So, yeah. So it's going to be a double hang. Metal hearts. And I love those bead caps. They are great. I'll just have to get a tool and unhinge that one piece. It's got purple. It seems to be done very well. 
very pretty piece with all those hearts and, and beads. And I'll say five on that one. It's gorgeous. Next is a vintage bracelet. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love it. It's in great shape. The stretch is, is marvelous. I just love it. Love it. Love it. It does go very well with this exact same color as that seed bead piece. So, yeah, that's so cute. If you like it, I'd say four on that one. We have a bracelet, leather, um, I don't know what that means, but if you do, let me know. It does look brand new, never worn. I think I'm just going to put it in craft, because I do not know. So in Emily, it goes. This is cool, like a yellow... I don't know if it would be Lucite. Possible. It really depends on this one. Hmm. I think I see a seam in the middle, which doesn't mean a ton. Doesn't mean it's not a fun bracelet or a pretty color. It just means it's probably not Lucite. So I'll just say $3 on that. It's a pretty color. This looks like a nice oldie, and it is, and it's all on this, like, knotted, not knotted, but a fabric, um, how do I say, they glue the beads along this, like a cotton string, that's what I mean, so that it looks hand knotted. The color is so pretty, really pretty vintage blue, and it's a... Like a resin necklace. And it's 22 inches. I think it's lovely. I'd say $4 on that piece. Okay, this one. Those are big shell pieces. We had a piece just last week that was very beautiful. And it had one big shell piece like that, but I've never seen them before. So this has all of these. It does have a beautiful owl and more of the inlay. So let's see what we can do with this. Yep, it's coming right off. That's great. Okay, Mr. Owl, you got your bath on the back too. So it looks like brass. Um, yeah, it does look like brass, and then you have the stone inlay on the wings, I'm sorry, the shell, and all of these shell pieces. The gold beads are in pretty good condition, and let's see if the clasp is sterling. It's not, but it's really nice. So, yeah, all shell like that, that's really pretty. Very interesting. It is 20 inches long. And for the brass owl with inlay, I'll say $15, $1.5. Lovely. Okay, I like this. Let's see if we can find anything on it. Oh, it's all about mountains. Clements Mountain, Reynolds Mountain. Maybe a tourist piece or something. It's in great shape. Let me know what you think. I might put it in a craft bag because it's so specific. But why don't I say $2 because someone might want that and then we'll see what happens. Okay, what do you think so far? Rich box, poor box. Any comments? I think there's fun things in both. Okay, first of all, I love the black chain. I really have been enjoying black chains lately. They're just really cool, and it really brings out the black outline on this cute cat. And look at her. She's all pretty with all these things and her fish that she caught. It's just beautiful. There is no maker. She's like a calico. 
chain is perfect. It looks never worn. And it is 32 inches long and another 2 inch extender. So let's say we'll do $10 for her. She is something. Next we have a faux pearl necklace. It's quite the beauty. But it does need a lot of attention. Maybe just clean it. They're not glass beads. They are like a plastic bead. But with some cleaning up, it might be quite pretty. I think these beads in the middle, these are glass. So that's nice, faceted glass. And yeah, it needs Hmm. Needs kind of a lot of cleaning down here. So let me, I don't even want to show it till I give it a good rinse off. Because I think it'll be a whole different piece. But that's part of rich box, poor box as well. When you're thinking about this, these pieces need time. They need cleaning. All of this stuff takes time. And, you know, a lot of us, do this for fun, but we're not in it only for fun. We do have to make a living. So that's something to consider, at least that I have found with the less expensive boxes, that I do have to spend a lot of time cleaning and fixing and doing things to a lot of the pieces. So just letting you know about that. So off to a bath you go. Okay, what is this? Oh yeah, this is this really cute, big purple piece. This is just a super fun statement necklace. It does feel like that nice, you know, heavy quality, older acrylic type stuff. It does have a nice shiny lobster clasp. And the beads are quite big. And I love how it graduates. It measures 20 inches long. Pretty. I think that's a super fun piece, and I'll say five on that. Really pretty color. Now, what have we here? Because I love these sparkly things. This is definitely leather. Nice leather. Very soft. Then we have this brass piece. All the rhinestones are there. And look at these crystals. So again, this must be one of the pieces I saw in the picture. Oh, it's signed with a D on it. No, an F, sorry. And a name on this side. Fabulina. Fabiafina, I don't know. It is fabulous, I will say that. Definitely fabulous. Look at those. They're like a charcoal black faceted glass beads. Just gorgeous. I love the clear ones that they come into. And then this other piece here. And I'm telling you, that leather is really feels nice. So good tassel on it too. Not bad. It's 35 inches long. You could take the tassel off because it's just a little metal piece there that could be snipped off. And then you could have faceted bead necklace with this on the front, the clear beads on the front. Very beautiful, $8. Okay, this looks like a torsade type. I'm sorry, um, we call these Mm, you know what I mean. And it fits anyone, just opens right here. We have some green beads and some um, silver tone. I don't see a maker. It's cute. It looks like, um, I want to say greenery around here. So it looks like it's being a faux stone. That's what it is. I think it's cute. I'll say $2 on that one. This 
is an older piece. Look at that. That's cute. It has a spring ring clasp, but it looks like it was on gold tone. I don't know what's going on with that. But there you go. I do think it's fun. I love it, but I'm going to put it in our craft jar. I just think that's really fun. This, I do not understand these type of pieces of jewelry that are kind of rubber. I don't know. So it's swirly pink and white. And it is on the older spring ring clasp. does look a bit older. It measures 24 inches. I have no idea what this is. Can you tell me? And I'm going to put it aside because I don't want to fill up our craft jar. I'll put it in like a big craft lot. This one is very nice. It is... Yeah, it's not. It's got too much wear on the gold beads in between. But it's your classic black and gold beaded necklace. This one is acrylic. But it just has too much wear. So that has to go to craft. This cuff... It's got a pretty look to it. It's a, like a, a copper color. You do have the seam there, but I don't know how they're supposed to be made. Again, it has to be cleaned up. The inside looks good, though. Not bad at all. It might end up in a big like wearable or a big craft jar. But if someone wants it right now, just looking at it, I'll say... Two dollars. Let's do two on that one. Now this piece, I can tell you already, is a really good one. It's a really good one. Just the way it's moving, the way it feels in my hand. It's on a barrel clasp. That's interesting. And it's not restrung. It's not all tight. Oh my gosh, it's really pretty. It's graduated beads. It's a really good one. It's in great shape. I love that it moves so nicely. You just need that because you don't want to get it on and then it's kind of wonky. I love this piece. This is a really, really good one. I know I said that 10 times, but it is. It's not AB coated. It's actually crystal. So you're seeing all those rainbow colors because they are crystal beads. Faceted crystal. Barrel clasp. Wow. Love this one. This is 18 inches. Oh, I'm just going to say it's so pretty. I'm going to say 25. I think it's worth more than that, but I'll say 25. It's so pretty. Wow. Okay, and that's it for that one. I think we should maybe, I don't know, close up the video. It might have been enough time. I could get some things and finish the craft jar. Okie dokie. I am going to finish our craft jar that we started. And show you some things as I put them in. Now, these things... Our um, single earrings. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? Brass ear wire. Look at that glass. This one, too. I think that's real cloisonne, like the real kind. Don't know, but nice. Then look. Little tiny. Little, I don't know. I forgot already what those are called. I think there's two of those. There's a a darker one and a lighter one. Pendants or earrings. Look at that. Look how pretty that single earring is. Now, these I'm going to sell separate. They are shell earrings on 14 karat gold chains. So I have them connected to this earring wire. 
just so I can hold them on to something. Let me show you. I'm going to have to show you. So take them off of here. So this is what I have. We have this very old mother of pearl shell, and it's on this 14 karat gold bead and chain that must have been, you know, they must have had some wires that they were hooked on. So there's two of them. They both have the gold chain with them right here. So you're getting two pieces like this with the 14 karat gold chain. This one isn't as round as this one, but it's still beautiful. And I don't know if 14 karat gold um, wire goes all the way through, but I would think so. So what I've done is connected the earring both of them onto here so that it has something to hold on to. So if someone wants to finish these earrings, you have this beautiful shell, 14 karat gold bead balls and chains. And I, I also, I know they're 14 karat because I tested them, but also because I found another pair of earrings, same thing, but they did have ear wires on them. So I just thought I'd offer those for maybe $15 to someone if you want to fix them. They're quite old and very beautiful. So $15 on those. Okay. Now, oh, this one breaks my heart. AB Crystal Bracelet. Just need some rhinestones put in here. I did want to try to do it myself, but I just didn't find the time. So let me see if that's going to fit in there. I don't want to put too many big things in there. So another single earring. Lovely. We have a ring. It might be like an Avon. It has... I don't think it has anything missing, does it? Let me just look again. Yeah, there's nothing missing. Maybe I thought... Oh, I see. There's some crackling on the bottom. So that goes in. This is a broken sterling silver chain. So maybe you can use some of this to make earrings or whatever. But it's broken, you know, on the chain part, so it can't be fixed. So there you go, some sterling silver um, crafting stuff. Then I have this lovely sparkly earring. This single earring, another single. This is a pair. They are lovely and can be worn. They're like a copper color. So that goes in. We have this really old piece. It's a screw back earring with two swords. Really cute. And a bead. This looks like an Alex and Ani bracelet, but I might put that. I don't want to put things that are too big in here. This, I have a Givenchy brooch exactly like this for sale on my eBay store. But I think this is marked Avon with a little dot. So I'm not sure, but I'm telling you it's exactly the same, but it's one earring. This is a clip-on. It's actually the clip-on. And a beautiful crystal bezel set, another earring. I have this ring that I've held on to for a long time. It is on the stretch. It's beautiful and there's a lot of stones in there. I was going to hang on to it to harvest the stones, but I just don't have time. So maybe you'll love that. That is so pretty. Let's get moving here. We've got some other hoop style earrings. And these are Koro earrings. Again, I was going to craft with them. They need two of those, um, those kind of stones, that shape. And you have a pair of Koro clip-ons. Quite pretty, but I just don't have the time. Then look, it's a doggy. It's a pin. 
Again, nothing wrong. You can wear it or you can craft with it. I like this earring. Really wanted there to be two of them. Very lovely. That goes in. Oh my god. Remember that necklace that that was all these beads? I did take it apart. I'll put some of the pieces in here, but I don't want to fill up the jar, you know. This is a really, really old screw back earring. I mean, it's beautiful. It could be cleaned up and maybe it's a low carat gold or sterling. I don't see any marks though. Oh, there's the other earring. I think we had one of these go in. I love this little pink beads and older brass chain and a little heart pendant. A little pendant there. This is a piece of black coral. I keep finding them. I had a whole necklace break and I keep finding the pieces and putting them in the craft jars. So just some more things, dangly earrings that needed work. Cute faux pearl earring. Some shinies. And another piece of black coral. See what I mean? And just some fun pieces. Some more fun pieces. This is 120th 12 karat gold filled. It's a little pendant and it says some kind of name right there. Like, I think I wrote it down. A. There's like a big C and then an A and a C and an O. That's what it says up there. And it looks like there was something glued to the front, but I never did find what that piece was. So a gold filled pendant that you can glue something on. This is jade, but not 925 I said it's on it. So nice piece of jade. I'll leave my notes there just so you know what they are. This I don't remember. Another fun piece, so maybe you could make earrings. Love this earring, just needs a little something in the front, but only one. And some more bits and pieces. Crafty things. I know there's two of these earrings. And this, someone got another craft jar with the other one of these earrings in it. And some nice crystally beads. Here's that other earring. I almost put them in the craft jar last time and then I forgot what was wrong with them. They are signed, I don't know what it says, but there was something about them, they just had too much wear. If you figure out what that little tiny signature is, let me know. They're kind of cute. Looks like a piece of cat eye glass. Beautiful crystal. That other earring, nice heart, pendant, super fun earring. Some more bits and pieces of earrings and some green stone, a little stud earring, a lovely butterfly. Looks like you hang it right here. And some ceramic beads nice pendant. Shape. I guess I will put this in here. It is a B crystal. It's nice and cold. It's beautiful. That's going to be a stunner when someone fixes that one. Okay, then I have, this is a coral brooch. It has white enamel and I think most of the little beads are in this bag. If not, I can't promise, but again, it was something I was going to fix and I just didn't get to. I'm going to put this clip on in. I think that would look nice clipped on a, a necklace of some sort. And we might as well put these two guys in there. Might be fun to do something with. There is a drill hole in the middle of those. So those go in with this orange piece and this pink piece. Now this is 14 karat gold plated. 
really pretty bracelet. This is probably a safety chain, um, but the pearls on it are worn. So I'm gonna put that in there too, and I'm gonna leave my little tag so you know that it is 14 karat gold plated. Little bits and bob, a little bracelet. We'll put the Alex and Ani on top, and then probably this will go right on the top of that. So there we go, we did it. We made our Emily jar. If you like this, just send me an email. Let me know. I would like the Emily craft jar. They do go rather fast. Now, wait a minute. I have a note for why I named it Emily. I'm going to try to flip it up so I can read it. What happens is I ask people to put names in the comment section that they would like me to put on the craft jars. And then I do. I use those names. So this is for Rose. And I can't remember why she wanted the name, but she did put in the comments, Rose the Silver Muse. Love you, Rose. You're so sweet. So this name is for you. Doesn't mean you have to buy the jar. Just means that Rose asked me to use this name. So I did. So there you go. 25 on the craft jar. Let me know if you love it. And I'll put some bubble wrap and some tape and mail it to you. Got all those beads, you've got um, gold filled and sterling silver and lots to do. So I hope you love that one. Okay, all craft stuff aside. Oh, I'm gonna put this in there. I don't know, maybe that's... Hmm. I don't know if it would go with these earrings. I think that chain is much smaller. I'm gonna put that in the craft jar. It looks like a little piece of gold chain. Okay, craft stuff aside. Because I have to get to work on making my thumbnail, make a great picture our brand new series. I never did find out what to do with this piece, but I'll figure it out. I'm going to put it back in that box so I can keep track of what's happening. Okay, so thumbnail. Probably want to take this. So those of you that don't make YouTube videos, um, the thumbnail is that picture that you see when you're on YouTube. And it doesn't just happen. We have to make those pictures and put them in. And it does take some kind of thought. It takes a lot of thought when you're making a thumbnail. So I'm gonna get to work on making my thumbnail. That's not cleaned yet. And maybe I'll put, maybe I'll do something like this. Like I'll put like that or something, we'll see. So I'll mess around with this, see what I can do. I want to thank you so much for joining me. Oops, there goes my little ring sizer. I'll remind you one more time how to purchase. Please email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com with the video name, episode number, timestamps of when your pieces show, a brief description, and the prices. And I know this starts to sound like wah, wah, wah after a while, but it is really important. I don't want you to lose the item you want because I have to email you back and forth. So please do that. This helps me to find your pieces really quickly and to know if they are available. So thanks so much. I ask that you would subscribe if you like the channel and leave me a comment because I'd love to read what you have to say. Okay, thumbs up. It's the end. Thanks so much for joining me. We'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Bye. Hey guys, did you like the video? I hope you did. If you did, leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite thing was, okay? So thanks so much. Bye.